All right, hey YouTube, how you doing? <coughs> Whoa, sorry, it's Max. Um, I think this is like video eight or nine or seven, something around there. But um, I think last time we had this grid and I created all the maps, uh, just like a blank version of the maps. And this time I actually made the, the connections between maps. So here we are starting in G5. Um, you can see I, I don't have a whole lot in this town. Um, but uh, if we go up here, uh, we've got the connection here with G4 and H5. So if we go to H5, cross over, you get the little sound effect. There's a little beach up here now, a little forest. So I might add some things in this forest area. Uh, but we're going from H5 to I5. Uh, this is just the edge of the, the area, the playable area. So I have these kind of walled off. If I want to add more things, uh, I can add more things in I5. But um, at the current moment, it's just a bunch of empty space uh, for where we can add quest stuff. So uh, as you can see in H5, I did originally have a settlement on H5, but I moved that down to H6, I think. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if I actually have anything. I guess I'll have to add the settlement here in H6 somewhere. Uh, I haven't done that yet. It's just a big forest right now. But um, eventually I'll probably add something there. Uh, going into G6, uh, so it's just a little crossroads kind of region. Um, I do have all these cliffs kind of uh, breaking up space. If I need more space, I can always add some, uh, you know, remove some of the cliffs, add some details in these routes. But just for now, it's just kind of to uh, map out the, the total area that I uh, am playing with. Um, right here, I think we are in G7. I uh, this was going to be another settlement. Right now, I just have this little pyramid uh, that kind of goes up and around. I don't know. This is kind of big. I don't know if I want to keep it exactly like this, but it's just a little pyramid for now. I think there's another route that kind of goes a little bit south from here. Um, and you can see some of these routes have two different entry points. So there's one kind of hidden one there, and then there's the main road over here that goes uh, leads to the off county so this wall to the left I think this is gonna be the wall to the uh, to the city so all this area I'll probably flesh out with um, uh, with buildings at some point as I need them um, so not really like right now uh, just because I don't want to have a bunch of empty buildings I kind of want it to be like uh, you know each building to have its own purpose so that's why I don't really have like a bunch of but just areas to map out towns. This is another connection area. So um, let's see. I think this is this one right here. Oh, is there? A, I guess this isn't the map with uh, the coordinates. Oh, you can see some of those videos. Um, I think this is the map with the coordinates. Yeah. So we were um, we were just in G7. Now we're in H7. Oh, also, if you click in different areas, the character moves there. Uh, I think this is going up into F6, uh, just different uh, areas. You can kind of see the little path right here. So this is this path kind of leading into what I have as Hallowhane, which is where the, the dead trees start coming. But um, there's these other kind of routes that I was playing around with where it's there's nothing really there, but you can kind of go up on this cliff. Maybe I'll have some hidden uh, items, other than this, like kind of cliffs, just to... Uh, um, just to like, you know, encourage ex exploration. Like if you're ever on this side, the, the grassland side and you see like a chest up here, you, you wonder how I can get, get up there and get that stuff. So, um, maybe I'll put some chests up on those cliffs, but, um, this is kind of just like the, the heart of the desert, I guess you would say. Uh, so it goes up north towards the grasslands. I think that was like, uh, we're currently in F6, but that was F5, um, and then there's just this giant uh, empty area here. And then you can kind of go down from F6 to F7. And then F7 to F8. So this one actually took a while because um, F7 and F8, there's this giant just like gap, right? It's just like a, a bunch of emptiness. But each one of these is a, its own uh, transition along this lot large wall so it goes all the way down here but everything up on this um 
this top part I can kind of show you. So what was that F7? You can see all the uh, the transitions uh, down here. So each one of these little uh, squares is its own uh, coding transition event. Um, so you can see there's a lot of space on some of these maps um, to add more details, but I just wanted to give myself enough space to uh, to start with. So where is that? Move this up a bit. More videos that I've made. I don't know why it shows those. I want to get this back up. Yeah. So um, I'll go through. I'll just do a little lap around so you can see. Um, you know, this was the vi rest of the video is just going to be me walking around the map, kind of just showcasing what it kind of looks like at the current moment as uh, from a player experience. This kind of helps me get a a feel for like how much space we're looking if I need to change the dimensions of the, the camera like I, I kind of feel like I want to zoom out a little bit more it kind of feels a little zoomed in to me uh, this is e7 where uh, the uh, the map kind of ends going up in e6 where the Hallowhane town is um, so in e6 we've got um, this town over here uh, and I did flesh this town out a little bit more. Um, some of them I did flesh out a bit more just to kind of see, uh, um, you know, what the town could feasibly look like. Uh, I do like the idea of there being this, like, little cemetery, maybe, like, a little crypt dungeon, um, some haunted woods to the north, and then this kind of, like, back roads area to, um, I guess you would say the elven lands. Um... And you can always do some branching out in these forests as well if you need more stuff. Um, but I, I think it's a, you know, I wanted originally, I think, D5 and D4. At this, we're in D5 right now. I think I moved the Elven Land to C5 uh, just to give it some more distance between settlements. Uh, I kind of want it to feel like you're, you're traveling a little bit, especially if you have encounters on these routes. So this would be where the Elven kind of town is. And then in B5... Uh, there would be a um, sort of, uh, oh, I actually have to change that, I think that's the, uh, the old sound effect going into this. But, um, you know, this is just a little forest in B5, um, kind of uh, more of like a maze, I guess you could say. So you just keep walking around, and there might be some items in here, some encounters in here. Uh, some quests may want you to go into this forest at some point. Uh, I like the idea of maybe having some, like, po encounters with uh, a lot of poison status conditions and, like, forests and stuff like that, just to give it a little bit more of a danger vibe. Um, but yeah, just some, you know, terrain, playing with, uh, just having, like, a lake here. It looks very ugly and very, uh, rough draft here at the moment, but, you know, that's kind of just, uh, what it's supposed to be, I guess, right now. It's not a final product. Um, this was like a crossroads area, so you can see on the map, one goes up to the next town, one kind of connects back, if I take this diagonal route and follow it, it kind of goes back to Castle Guard, and then this E5 kind of goes to Manaheim, so um, this is kind of like a crossroads area, um, and we'll just go up and around, we'll kind of end at Castle Guard, um, just because that's kind of, we'll, we'll hit, we'll go up north, and then we'll go across, and kind of end in the direction of Manaheim again. But this is, would be Doraconia, so uh, it's, a, it's a relatively big city, I guess you could say. Um, I was thinking about adding, like, maybe a Colosseum over here, because I like it to have, like, kind of, like, Roman uh, aesthetic vibes. I don't have a lot of assets that kind of um, uh, sh show this, so it's just brick houses for right now. But, um, you know, that's where the, the healing place would be. I don't really have any. Um, probably in the next video, I'll add, like, the, the little, you know, going inside the settlements for the main buildings, the healing, the shop, and the, um, the other stuff. Maybe I'll start making items. So um, you can actually, you know, buy unique things at some of the shops. Uh, that was kind of a weird transition. So, yeah, I, I don't think I want that to work like that so I'll probably have to wall this off with like some more rocks so that you're not like coming across here and it's not 
So I'll have to remember to do that. Uh, here I have some farms. I think in the last video I showed some farms. So this is kind of just what they look like. Um, just different farming areas in the countryside. Um, I think this was, uh, if you go up here, there's uh, the waterfalls and uh, Novalok, which I wanted there to be like a volcano kind of area, but this is sort of just uh, 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 higher up in the mountains kind of area. Um, little town. Again, this cave is something I was just playing around with. Maybe I could go in that cave late, at a later date. Um, but yeah, then we go kind of to the to the east into E2. And this is the only way to get to D1. Uh, I think I showed this in the last video, but you can't go from D2 to D1 at the current moment. Uh, you'd have to go kind of up from E2 through these waterfall kind of areas uh, up into E1. And then eventually when I start making the um, uh, these cave systems, uh, this will probably connect to that one over across the river. Um, just as like, maybe that will be, I think I said in the last one, that could be like the victory road, like final uh, stretch or something. So you probably have to, uh, you probably have to, you know, unlock some like key items to get past some obstacles and stuff like that. But going from, E2 to a more snowy area. This was originally the concept was like a Viking area, but you know, the asset limitation at the current moment, this is what I got to work with. So it's still snowy at least. Uh, this one has a lot of different transitions along it as well, just to kind of highlight what this kind of looks like. Yeah, so you got that. The edge of the, the map is up here as well in F1. Um, so ends up there and then you can kind of follow this river down from, uh, F1 into F2 and then you're back at this town, but you can also keep going along the, the river here. Um, so that we're in G2 right now, this little like peninsula looking thing. And then G2 kind of goes into, um, doesn't go into G3, I have some trees there, but you can go back into F2, go down into F3. I should probably add a little um, shortcut from G2 into G3 just to make it um, a little bit simpler to get from one to another, but you can get into uh, G3 here. Just a lot of different space to work with. And eventually we'll have like better names for all these than just G2 and G3, but um, for the time being, uh, that's what they are, I guess. Um, some other little places over here. I think this is going into E3. So just a little shortcut area over here. Maybe I'll put a little chest over there, a little cave or something. Um, I like the idea of there just being like these places to explore. And, um, you know, just some maybe interesting items, interesting encounters. Um, and then this is kind of an F3 again, right north of Castle Guard, which is that big uh, castle city. Um, you know, the design is a bit choppy right now, but, you know, it's, you know, rough draft form. I was thinking, how can I get, like, maybe make this a little bit smoother so it's not going to be wonky getting into town. Uh, maybe just remove the, the obstacle gates entirely. But um, going into G4, and this is kind of just, uh, you know, walled off by trees, goes along the river, and we'll make our way back to the start in G5, where Manaheim is. And that's another little wonky transition right there. If you come in from this angle, it kind of looks a little bit ugly, so we'll, we'll fix that. Um, but yeah, um, this is kind of just like another kind of hidden area over here where you could probably get an item or something and then we'll make our way back to the city. I think this entire thing with all the transitions probably took me like five hours. So, you know, it's, it's a time consuming thing. I don't have a secret passage over that way, but, um, you know, uh, it's kind of like, uh, just kind of cool to document the 
even though this doesn't seem like a big accomplishment, just making transitions, uh, it's cool to kind of document the process of, okay, I spent five hours doing this one thing. What's the small incremental change? It's not a whole lot, but at least you can walk around the map now, which is, which is cool. So, um, just more shortcuts, but, um, I think it's just kind of like cool to, you know, walk around at least and see like a working game technically. So, um, I think that'll be it for this video. Um, next time I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm going to work on. I'll probably check through my notifications, but if I had to guess, uh, it might be to kind of more formally, uh, create like the, uh, the, you know, I'm just calling it a Pokemon center for easy use and, uh, the like Pokemart, like the shopping and the healing buildings. Uh, I think creating one per city will be, um, nice so like i think nine i also need to make um so just kind of like the bear starting because i don't even have a city in h6 or h5 like i had planned so I'll, I'll add at least those buildings and the ability to go into them and they'll probably all be the same to start with but i just want them to be working so that once i start creating encounters i can uh go heal um as needed and uh probably the marts too so i can go buy like items like just the staples figure out what the staples are going to be in each mart and then maybe some unique items so maybe add like two um two shopkeepers one for like staples and the other who's kind of like maybe a traveling salesman who has unique things and then i kind of also like the idea of there being like this quest system where you save one of the like um the shopkeepers near each town and once you save that guy he'll also sell more unique things so i like that uh the idea of like kind of completing these side quests to unlock like npcs who will sell you um things later on down the road but um yeah that's what i've got so far um 17 minutes not terrible but um yeah stay tuned if this kind of stuff interests you if uh, I assume that if you're on episode 8 and the end of episode 8 or whatever episode this is, then it interests you somewhat. So, uh, yeah, thanks for your support, and I um, guess I'll see you next time with the next uh, update. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.